Hi, Adam here, and today we're going over the 2024 Rockwood Ultralight 2608S. This is one of the flagship layouts for the Rockwood uh, Ultralight line. It's the front kitchen layout. And so if you like a big kitchen, if you like to have a huge living space, and if you like to have uh, a slide in a bedroom in a 30 foot long trailer, then this unit's for you. So let's go check it out. First thing you notice is that you got a windshield on the front cap. So whether you're on the road at the campsite, you're going to look fresh, but then also you get a lot of natural light coming into the unit, which I'll show you on the inside. You have two 30 pound propane tanks here. And so you got lots of propane storage capacity. A quick question, what can store more propane, this unit or a uh, Grand Design Solitude that's 44 feet long? Same amount, same exact amount of propane, so that's a lot of storage there. So you have a uh, power tongue jack there too, of course, uh, one battery complimentary with the purchase. Uh, another thing you have here is this right there, that's going to be the electric stabilizer. So that is super easy to operate, no one having to go down there and crank and move your body. So uh, all you gotta do is press that button, stabilizes it right on its own. A uh, very handy feature. This is the PSX2. So it's got independent motors, a little upgrade from the PSX1. Uh, so this is a 2024. They have some very special new upgrades for the 2024s. One of them is that they decided to add the slam latch doors. This is a very nice feature, super convenient to be able to close that instead of the other type, which you gotta press and twist and it always breaks. This is one of your storage doors. You got access from the inside or the outside with this unit, uh, you got your hot water heater there. Uh, Rockwood is always going to give you this, so you always want to have latches that go on, like a table that goes on here, and then you can either put whatever you want. It's a table. You can have a TV or a grill, whatever you need. They do give you one griddle complimentary with any Rockwood product so that you can use that. You have that there, and then you have an LP disconnect uh, right under here too. So you put your griddle on top, and you connect that to there, and then you're all set, and you can camp outside no problem. Heading around, you can see that you got the more rides up above stairs, but they add, I added that for both the primary and the secondary entry. So then they're, they're sparing no expense here on the stairs. Great for your safety. You have another latch right here. So whether you want to grill over there, over there, you got both options, but on top of that, you have some TV connections here too. So the TV can be either on the table or hooked up there. Um, so great outside entertainment that you can do. Goodyear tires, five year warranty on those. None of those China bombs for you. A uh, huge awning, this whole thing has just been one awning. They didn't have to split it up into two, which makes it so that you don't have any break in that awning. You don't have any break in the uh, in that rain coming down. Over here, you have your uh, outdoor shower. So whether you, uh, primarily, people would probably use this for doing dishes outside, but you could also set up an outdoor shower in the campsite as well. Fresh water, then you got your rear stabilizers there as well. They do all the hookups here in one spot, your city water, your black tank flush, your winterizing all in one spot there, very convenient. You do get a ladder uh, with these units and then you have the spare tire right there on the back too. And so you got your slides on the back side. This slide is going to be the bedroom slide because it's a rear bed front kitchen model. And so you got the storage area. Rockwood does a great job putting storage areas absolutely everywhere on the outside, very convenient. You can see on the inside that they actually do aluminum frame construction for the beds. They do that for the dinettes as well. That's, that's standard with every single Rockwood product. They, they just go above and beyond when it comes to the quality of their construction. Uh, continuing on, you have all the frameless windows all along the, uh, the back side, all around the unit. Uh, makes it so that it looks a lot nicer and it's a lot easier to maintain as well. Uh, slide topper is pre-installed on this unit. Um, it's on both of those slides up there, so that's a huge value as well helps to protect your investment. So we're gonna head right into the unit and I'll show you the layout of the inside going right on in. So this is the front kitchen model. So you can see here that you have so much counter space going all the way around to the side. Also, you have this front windshield. So you, it's, you can't really have the front kitchen without the front windshield. That front windshield really creates that residential type experience. So when you're doing the dishes, uh, especially if you're like a, an average height person, I'm kind of a giant, so I can't see outside too good, but any average height person would be able to see outside that window so nice and lets in so much natural light in here so that you can have that residential type experience. They do a great job with the cabinetry. It's both screwed and glued and it's solid. You could bang on that super hard. You got the hidden hinges in there. Excellent job with their cabinetry. 
Uh, they got their sink here. They give you the, the complimentary, um, the, the, uh, the grate here, so you can do dishes on one side and drying rack on the other if you want to. Um, very nice there. You got the three burner stove with this nice glass splash guard. And then you have the oven there too, uh, all off of the propane there. Um, so you got your refrigerator. So it's gonna be a 12 volt refrigerator and all of the Rockwood goodies you get in there too. Um, so a 12 volt refrigerator and 12 volt the freezer as well. This is a new freezer that they're doing for the 2024s. Um, so uh, very nice there. You have the, um, the microwave oven there too. I love the popcorn setting. That's my favorite setting for the kitchen. So then you got the uh, dinette area as well. They do this very attractive leatherette sort of look to it. And then you have the, the table. What I love about the table is that it's movable. It's not just in that one spot. And so like, you know, like I might like the table a little bit farther away if I'm doing work, a little bit closer if I'm eating. Maybe you have a guest who's uh, uh, large. Maybe they want to be further away from them. Uh, no matter what, you can move this where you want. Maybe you want to move this outside. Maybe whatever you want to do with it, you can do that. And then it does convert into sleeping as well. And then you have this um, Millsburg uh, collection furniture as well. And so here is where you got your great access to the TV over there, and the electric fireplace down there too. Uh, the TV is also nice because it has this sound bar as well. Sometimes the audio in some of these campers isn't fantastic, but the sound bar really helps to amplify that, that part of the, uh, the, the, the process there. And you got your nice little pantry slash coat rack slash place to store your shoes. Whatever you want, it's nice to have this at the entry so you can grab whatever you need right before you leave there. So that's good to have. On this side, you can look at the One Control by Forest River. So Rockwood is a Forest River brand, and so you always have this centralized control panel, which is really nice to have. But the other thing about this is that you can uh, monitor it from an app on your phone. So there is a connectivity sort of aspect to it as well. That's your awning, your slides, your water pump, hot water heater, all those things. Going to the bathroom next, as is customary, always got to go into the shower. You can see me, I am six foot two. I can stand in here no problem. Even if I was outside of the skylight, I can still stand in here no problem. You got the rain glass shower door, really attractive. And even when I close it, I got plenty of shoulder room. Whenever you have a corner shower, there's always lots of shoulder room there. Uh, they do a great job with all of the storage. You have medicine cabinet beneath the sink and then more storage on that side and a nice place to hold the towels. They will always do a max air fan in the bathroom. That's gonna be great for getting the humidity out of the shower. Water is the camper killer. You wanna get that humidity out as soon as possible. Rockwood knows that. That's why that's going to be their standard in every single unit. Uh, they also have the shower miser, a water saving solution. All Rockwoods are gonna have this as well. If you like dry camping, Rockwood's got you covered for a lot of reasons. I'll get to those later, but one of them is the shower miser water saving solution. And so you just flick this switch and then the water will start to circulate internally so that it can heat up without having to waste it as it's going down the drain. And so you're saving one, two, maybe three gallons of water, which really adds up when you're doing a dry camping trip. So that helps to save your water there. Okay, and then we got the bedroom in the back. I love that they're doing a bedroom slide even in just a 30 foot long unit. So you have, it's a queen bed on a slide here, so you have plenty of space to walk around on either side. So here there's probably a foot and a half at least to walk around that side and even more over there. You got the nice bed stands, the reading lights, the storage above. I'd put my books above here, maybe a tablet if you like that. Sorry about that, it's a cover for the, for the, for the diary, but don't, don't pay attention to that. You have a nice wardrobe over here. Uh, so you can put the hangers there all the way across. Um, that's the a problem with a lot of travel trailers is that when you have that north-south bed, you don't get a lot of storage space. But here, they, they thought about that, and they thought, you know, we're gonna get them that storage space. We got a lot of storage space beneath here too, um, drawers and, and all that. And so we'll go back in the living room, and I'm just gonna tell you a couple more things about the construction of this unit and, uh, and some of the off-grid features that they do. So the construction of this unit, they do Asdell in the walls instead of Luan, and so Asdell is a manufactured material that's, that helps to uh, minimize the potential for rot because it's, because it's made out of fiberglass and petroleum-based products. And so it's not gonna rot like Luan would or, uh, or like plywood would. Um, so that's a huge material that they build the, 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 the side, side walls out of. Uh, on top of that, they use a 5 8 tongue groove floor. It doesn't absorb water like the OSB might, and so more residential style of flooring there. They do a dexter torsion axle, and so it's uh, it's uh, rubber rubber versus rubber on steel, where the tire 
meets the wheel. And so it's going to be a lot smoother of a ride. And on top of that, the suspension acts independently from one another. And so you're not going up and down together like the leaf springs would. Um, so that's sort of the, some of the construction things. Uh, sort of the off-grid capability things too. Um, so one of the 2024 big upgrades was the inverter. The inverter, the, the upgraded the inverter from 1,000 watts all the way up to 1,800 watts. So now you're plugging into the outlet and you can use a lot more power than you could have used just last year. On top of that, they did a, uh, did they upgrade the solar panel? Um, either way, there's a 200 watt solar panel standard on all of these units. 90% sure this one has a second panel pre-installed. Uh, so that's really nice for that, uh, that uh, boondocking sort of functionality as well. And there's something else that I'm definitely forgetting, and maybe I'll put it in the comments below if I remember it. But uh, what I'll say is let me know in the comments below what questions you have, what units you want me to cover. Uh, feel free to like this video. Um, also subscribe and click that notification bell so you get notified when I come out with videos in the future. Thanks so much for watching and take care.